Ladies, gentlemen, by the time this video ends, you should be able to describe the regional differences between the middle, New England, and southern colonies. New England colonies, uh, every aspect of New England was very much influenced by religion in the early colonial period. Um, New England had a cold climate, poor soil. Uh, this challenged the farmers, Puritan farmers, who grew crops mostly for their own families. Um, when they reached the Connecticut River Valley, then they found some richer soil. Um, but really, it was small commercial farming and fishing. Uh, they developed a diversity, or I'm sorry, a diverse economy. Although farming was the most common occupation, uh, it also became a center for colonial shipping with major ports such as uh, Boston and Salem. So you have fishing, shipbuilding, um, were some of the related industries. Uh, they had cold winters, rocky soil, short growing season, go figure, it's winter time. Uh, but we have forests, mountains, rivers, natural harbors. Um, mostly the early colonists were the pilgrims and the Puritans. Uh, diverse economy, again, like I said, farming and fishing. I'm just trying to reiterate the real important points that you guys will see on a quiz or on the regions exam. The major city here is Boston. Uh, what's their lifestyle like? High literacy level. Uh, the Puritans wanted their children to be able to read the Bible. Uh, they have colleges there. Uh, the first college, the oldest one, Harvard. Uh, you might have heard of that. Um, they also create, wrote something called the Mayflower Compact, which is going to create the first representative government in the New World. The middle colonies, made up of New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware, had a more diverse population. Uh, included Dutch, Germans, uh, Scottish, Irish. Um, these colonies, especially New York and Pennsylvania, benefited more from fertile soil than did New England colonies, but yet it's still rocky soil and a short growing season. They exported wheat and corn, and this trade helped build New York and Philadelphia. They had a large number of tenant farmers. And remember, tenant farmers are farmers who rent rather than own the land. Um, and they usually live near the Hudson River Valley of New York and New Jersey. So their geography uh, compared to New England, even compared to the South, um, is less severe winters than what we see in uh, New England. But still, you guys live in Binghamton, uh, so you know that we do have those severe winters sometimes. Uh, the soil, fertile. Obviously, we have farms here, but still rocky. Uh, we have rivers. We have natural harbors. Uh, we have woods and mountains, thus the Appalachian Mountains. Um, their economy, again, included uh, medium-scale farming, a uh, little bit bigger than what we see in New England. Um, they had cash crops, right? Crops that you would sell immediately for money, such as wheat, corn, uh, they would, we had the fur trade because of the Iroquois Confederacy, uh, crafts, industry, things of that. Major cities in the middle colonies, Philadelphia and New York. Southern colonies, uh, Virginia, Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. Uh, these colonies have a warmer climate. They have rich soil compared to the middle in New England, they have a long growing season. Where would you rather be in January and February, Georgia or the Binghamton area? I would also pick Georgia. It was an agricultural economy. Uh, at first, it's gonna be based on tobacco, rice, and indigo, and these are all being grown for export. Um, eventually, it will be cotton, but not at first. Um, most of this these, excuse me, crops were cultivated first by indentured servants and then later by enslaved African Americans. Uh, the central role of the plantation, that's what these huge farms are called in the South. Um, their role uh, led to the growing dependence on slavery. Um, this is how they, they were going to support their economic, social, and even political systems of the South. And we'll learn more about that in the Civil Rights Movement. So their geography. Uh, mild climate, long growing season, fertile soil, uh, rivers, wide coast plain. Uh, most of the early colonists were English and unfortunately enslaved Africans. Uh, again, highly agricultural economy. Um, most of the people there were self-sufficient plantation owners. They had very few cities. It was the least populated among the developing colonies. 
um, all the college. The college there was William and Mary. Um, but don't forget, I'm going to reiterate that the first college was in the New England colonies. Um, also, there's going to be something created here called the House of Burgesses. And this was going to be the first representative government that uh, we find in the colonies because this was in 1619. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. Remember, the objective was be, to be able to describe the regional differences. Um, to be even a better student, the best student you can be, describe not only differences, but similarities as well. If you can do this, then you are completely and totally prepared for your quiz on Friday. Good luck.